The Chinese government has denied mistreating ethnic and religious minorities who are reportedly forced to work in inhumane conditions. And as the world has shifted its focus to the coronavirus, reports suggest that the government transferred Uyghur Muslims to labor camps in East Turkestan. Here to discuss this further is Salih Hudayar, a Uyghur American and the prime minister of the East Turkestan government in exile, who is currently joins us from Washington, D.C. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you for having me. How has the coronavirus impacted those religious and ethnic minorities who are being forced into labor camps by the Chinese government? So the coronavirus outbreak has uh, led the Chinese government to rapidly, uh, forcibly transfer tens, if not hundreds of thousands of Uyghur and other Turkic peoples outside of East Turkestan into uh, Chinese provinces that have been heavily affected by the uh, coronavirus to help uh, boost the uh, production. Describe what life is like for many Uyghurs who are forced to work in these sort of conditions. So uh, many of them are forcibly transferred uh, thousands of miles away from their homes, away from their families, um, and sent to these factories. Uh, and they're not even allowed to you know, interact with the uh, local population there. Uh, they're not even allowed to communicate with their family members back home. Um, and they're spending 12 to 14 hours a day uh, working in factories that produce shoes, you know, uh, small e electronics. And um, all of this, you know, uh, is basically China's uh, policy to, you know, while they're doing this, they're also settling Han Chinese settlers into East Turkestan to colonize the region. And we know the Trump administration and Congress, they have been vocal about this, uh, at, even though the coronavirus has taken precedent recently. Well, the president, he has emphasized that the Chinese government is responsible for the mishandling of the virus, which is now a pandemic. How should lawmakers in the U.S. hold the Chinese government responsible for this? Absolutely. I mean, it has come to light that the the pandemic, the coronavirus, was something that might have been engineered by the Chinese government itself, and they hid this. Uh, I think the United States government needs to, you know, enact sanctions against the uh, Chinese government officials that are responsible for this. Uh, we need to enact, you know, um, instead of signing a trade deal with them, we need to push back against them in uh, in this area to make sure that uh, they are held accountable and that they're not going to you know, keep cheating and lying to the world. And I think you bring up an interesting point because the U.S. did sign that phase one trade deal and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and even other members of the Trump administration said that they want to combat these human rights abuses that China is committing specifically against the Uyghur population. So we'll have to see if that comes about, although the coronavirus has been taking a hold of everything that's been going on. Salih Hudayar, thank you so much again for all of this and bringing attention to this important issue. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.